We'll come back, we'll have the Queen's speech and there's ample time for debate. We're giving plenty of time to debate it. I'm absolutely delighted that the Prime Minister is going to have a Queen's speech on the 14th of October. What will then happen is there will be a debate on that and there will be time enough to discuss Brexit and many other things in the Queen's speech ahead of us hopefully getting a good deal from the European Union at the Council of Ministers meeting on the 17th of October. and there will be time enough to discuss Brexit and many other things in the Queen's speech. We'll come back, we'll have the Queen's speech and there's ample time for debate. We're giving plenty of time to debate it. There will be ample time on both sides of that crucial October the 17th summit. Ample time in Parliament for MPs to debate uh, the EU, to debate Brexit and uh, all the other issues. Ample time. Uh, that there will be plenty of time to debate Brexit, actually more time under this schedule because you will have the days of debate on the uh, Queen's speech and then if a deal is done at the Council on the 16th and 17th um, of October, you will have to have the legislation for that. So there's going to be plenty of time to debate, vote on and even legislate uh, about our leaving the European Union. The Speaker of the House of Commons says that this is a constitutional outrage. Do you agree with him? Absolutely not. We are giving plenty of time to debate it. We need to have a Queen's speech. We have a new Prime Minister. He needs a new legislative programme. Why is Thank he you wrong? Very He's much. the arbiter of our democracy. Mr. No, that's not an answer to the question, I'm afraid. That's not, that's not, good. That's not an answer to our question, Mr. Jeff.